Hello, people watching this video. Welcome to Rat City, everybody. For those of you who don't know, my name is Victoria. Rat City, the city where rats live. We're gonna talk about dogs today. I'm gonna be talking about bloat, not in humans, in dogs. Really, really fun stuff that's not sad or gross at all. It is a serious medical condition called bloat. Bloat also known as gastric dilatation vulvalis, or GDV for short, but no one wants to say that, so we just call it bloat. It can occur in any breed of dog, but large and giant breed dogs are particularly susceptible to this medical condition. Bloat occurs when a dog's stomach fills with gas, fluid, or food, or they're overfed, and essentially causes the stomach to expand. The dog's stomach becomes distended with gas and puts pressure on the diaphragm, which can cause breathing problems. Additionally, the pressure cuts off the return of blood flow to the heart. The extreme pressure within the stomach can cause tissue to die, leading to the stomach rupturing, and sometimes the spleen twists with the stomach, which results in damage to splenic tissues as well. The spleen is an organ that acts as a blood filter, and this winds up putting pressure on multiple other organs, cuts off blood flow, which happens very, very quickly. I mean, if you think about just how quickly it takes to asphyxiate, you know, it's not a pretty sight. The only way to fix it if your dog gets bloat is in a matter of hours. They will die if they are not taken to emergency veterinary care and get a surgical procedure whereby they are cut open and their stomach is actually untwisted and sutured, stapling it to the side of the wall so that it can't twist. So it's connected there and it's not gonna be able to contort. If your dog experiences bloat, and you have to go through the horrifying experience and I hope none of you ever have to and I hope I don't, but if it does happen, the dog will undergo a surgery called uh, gastropexy, I think I'm saying that right? Gastropexy. Wherein the stomach is untwisted. Uh, sometimes because the spleen can also twist with the stomach, the spleen may have to be removed. Usually if a dog gets out of surgery, they're fine. They're gonna need to take medication multiple times a day, pain medication, and not be active, basically. This will continue until the sutures are completely healed and then they will be removed and the dog can go about being happy, cute, lucky puppy. Dogs weighing over 100 pounds have approximately a 20% risk of experiencing bloat in their lifetime. The breeds that tend to be the most susceptible to this based on the research that's been done so far are St. Bernard's, Great Danes, large hound breeds, and standard poodles. One thing that I've read about body type in breeds that tend to suffer from blow is because they have a very deep chest cavity and this impacts the way that they take in food and air while they eat and the way that their organs sit with the diaphragm. There is still a lot that we don't really know about this, which makes it all the more horrifying. So I'm just gonna read some stiff. Although medical professionals have a lot of knowledge about bloat, there is a big missing piece, why bloat happens. There are several theories as to why bloat occurs, but ultimately it can be caused by a number of variables. Most common, these are larger giant breed dogs, more often male than female and middle-aged. Many of these dogs will have a history of drinking or eating a large volume and then being excessively active. This is life-threatening, and as Hunter is a giant breed dog, meaning he's gonna be over 100 pounds, it's something that we've been aware of since before we ever even got him shipped to us, and something that we are really taking any kind of precautionary measures to avoid. If you have watched some of my other videos, you have probably seen this. You're asking yourself, why does that look so weird, Victoria? Is that just a really cute design? Yes, it is a really cute design, but it has a very specific purpose. These 
funny looking puzzle maze bowls are engineered specifically to help slow your dog's eating. They are called a couple different things. Interactive slow feed, fun feeders, slow feeders, break fast dog bowls, anti-gulping bowls, which is kind of the name that best describes this. I'm sure <laughs> everyone has seen, a, if you don't have a dog, which Okay, I'm sorry, but you have probably all watched your dogs inhale their food and this is meant to prevent that. They are slow feeders, but Hunter still inhales his food. It's just not, he's not gulping it. He still eats very, very fast, but he's not able to take massive bites. Dogs actually, yes, they chew, but they don't grind up food as we do. They have different teeth which have different purposes. And because of this, they could swallow a chicken leg whole if they wanted to. One of the main causes of bloat is inhaling your food, eating too quickly. So there's some controversy on different ways to prevent this, like using elevated food bowls, which doesn't even make sense because if you think about your dog standing and eating, their food isn't elevated. They're eating off the ground. So I don't know why anyone would change the natural posture of the dog to help them. Another thing that I've read is some people are saying, have your dog eat raw food. I wanna do a video about why I don't believe in raw food diets, but I'm not going to get into that. But um, here, I'm gonna read you um, some notes that I took and then end the video. So here are the bullet points that I got. Feeding several small meals each day, not feeding from an elevated food bowl. Avoid feeding dry kibble that has citric acid in the first four ingredients. Offering water at all times and trying to reduce stress, especially around feeding time. Because sometimes, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen this in other videos, but Hunter gets really, 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 really excited and then he eats and just gobbles everything up and then with all of that excitement sometimes he grabs his toy and he's just like shaking it around and stuff so um yeah don't want to do that it's like don't swim after you eat for dogs just let your food digest let it settle let your body put the energy into digesting the food not having your body do multiple other things while trying to digest food anyway that's it um, sorry there weren't any live animals in this video so right now I'm gonna put some video for you guys of the bear so that we can get some animals in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this interesting and informative. Like, subscribe, follow my other socials. Yeah, my camera's about to die, so I'm trying to talk fast. Bye. Up. What are you doing? What is he doing? <laughs> You're weird. I love you so much. You're such a sweet boy. I love you, son. Hunter, your paws are so cute. Look at this handsome face.